Hi, this is Dr. Gretchen Gagel. I'm here today to explain a little bit about Bloom's taxonomy of critical thinking. Now there's lots of frameworks around critical thinking, but Bloom's taxonomy happens to be the one that um, probably makes the most sense to me. And the reason that we focus on critical thinking skills in MBA programs is that, that that's really what businesses are looking for. They're looking for people that are thinkers. And unfortunately, early in our educational experience, a lot of the time, we are just regurgitating back what's told to us. So I can use myself as an example. My undergraduate degree is in mechanical engineering. And uh, when I would learn a formula, uh, I took design of steel structures, a civil class. I would learn a formula. And the first thing I had to do is I had to memorize that. And so remember, that is the first stage on the left of Bloom's taxonomy of critical thinking. First, you have to remember the formula, the different variables in the formula. And then you need to be able to understand that formula. So you need to understand what each of the variables mean and what the application of the, of the equation is. And then the third level, you have to go out and apply it. So I did hours and hours of problems in design of steel structures where I was given information. And then I had to pick how big an H-beam or an I-beam I needed in um, my building. So that was it. I never questioned. I never really thought about, is this equation valid? Is it not valid? And those are the lower tier critical thinking skills. What we're, we are really driving towards is using higher level Bloom's taxonomy skills. So we get into analyzing, evaluating, and creating. So for example, uh, what if I started analyzing those equations? What if I read an article someplace that, hey, uh, maybe those equations are antiquated and there's something that should be changed and, and that I'm evaluating that things are working and potentially even creating my own knowledge. And the other reason this is so important is that we are bombarded with information about uh, climate change to political unrest to um, whether or not we should drink red wine or eat protein. <laughs> and we as leaders really need to be able to distill down that information. Let me use another example to illustrate Bloom's taxonomy of critical thinking. So I'm a football player. I, this actually happened to me. I was sitting on a plane with a football player that had just been traded from Cincinnati to the Denver Broncos. And we were sitting together on a small regional plane and I was watching him and he had cards and he had the name of a play written on the front of the card. And what he was doing was he was remembering, you could see him read it and he would pull in his mind, okay, this is the play. And then he would flip it over and see, yes, was I correct or not correct? So he's, and then he has to understand the play. Like, what is it that I'm doing as a player in this and go out and apply it during the game. And that could be the end of it, right? But what if there's a reason we have halftime and you see everybody with their rugged tablets on the sidelines of football games. What if during halftime, this player comes up to the coach and says, hey, I've noticed that when we're doing this play, it's not really working as well as it could. He's analyzing, he's evaluating. And he says, what if we took a little bit of this play and a little bit of that play and tried running this a, different, a, a little bit differently? Great. Awesome. Let's go try that. So that's creating, you know, that's designing and constructing and producing something new. Which player do you want on your team? Do you want the player that just does what they're told that is um, just regurgitating back what they heard? Or do you want players that are thinking critically on your business teams? Do you want people that are analyzing and um, looking critically at information, evaluating that and producing new knowledge. Hopefully these examples have really been helpful. I'll use one last example, I'm planting a garden. First, I have to remember what kind of flower each flower is and I have to understand that flower. I have to understand, does it need a lot of water? Does it need a lot of sunshine? And then I go out and apply that and I plant my garden. But then I evaluate, maybe I've read in a couple of different places that a certain type of rose one place says it needs a little and one place says it needs a lot. I'm building my personal experience into that analysis and evaluation. 
And as I become an expert in gardening, then I am creating knowledge about what good gardening looks like. Hopefully this has been helpful. I'm a big fan of Bloom's taxonomy. I see it applied in the business world frequently. And um, hopefully this, this has been a helpful way to understand Bloom's taxonomy of critical thinking.